to look at my makeup. I already said you look so average. Oh my gosh, so average. I look <laughs> average. I look spectacular. Yeah, you think you know? <laughs> Haters <laughs> everywhere. Haters want to get, but I got me some babe one day. Whatever that word is. If you're here, you're definitely in the right place because you want to learn how to highlight a guitar. So without any further bang da 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 talking cha 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 cha, let's get right to this video. Don't forget to subscribe though. Now the first thing you want to do when you want to highlight and contour, you want to get a concealer that is a shade lighter than your skin tone or two shades lighter than your skin tone and get a shade that's same thing darker than your skin tone or two shades darker than your skin tone. LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Almond. So you're going to take a little and just apply it gently. I don't like to apply so much to the ends because it's going to spread out eventually so there's no point in doing that. And I'm going to do a straight line on my nose. Hopefully it's straight. Yeah, close enough. And you're going to drag it out. Like so. If you don't look crazy while doing this, then you ain't doing it right, sis. You ain't. I'm gonna go in with our darker shade and I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Contour Cream Contour Cream Kit in the shade medium. Now for your contour you wanna go above your ear and then you wanna stop like at like the end of your eye and you wanna drag it down. some to my nose. The goal is to highlight what you want to pop more when you do your makeup in the gold. And then do that. So if you have a big forehead, don't highlight it. We'll come to the forehead. Beauty Blender. This is actually not dirty. I use this as just apply foundation to my face, so don't think oh, she dirty, she dirty. I'm not. So you want to get a damp sponge, and you can spray it with water. You can spray it with your setting spray. Just get it a little, just to get it damp. Now we're gonna blend. You wanna do a dab in motion, and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the contour in my nose. So like everything flows and then I'm gonna drink it out you see why I said you didn't want you see why I said it's good to not draw the concealer all the way here because when you're blending you're gonna because what 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 you blend expands so as you're blending it it's expanding so if, if you had drawn it all the way here, you would have been, you would have had no choice but to blend. Because so you can't really blend it like this. What are you doing? So this is why you want to do a little bit here and then bring it out. And then also with some concealers, you want to work fast because when they dry, they're harder to blend. Now 
when you're blending above your I mean blending your forehead you want to make sure you're not wiping off your eyebrows because especially if you have a good eyebrow <laughs> that'll hurt now for the nose you can use the different things you can use a tiny brush to because they're the nose brushes for contouring I mean for highlighting and everything there's also like the little beauty blenders you can use you can use these little ones to blend your nose you have more control with that because it's so little compared to using the big one but the nose you want to be careful as to not to blend your contour away there are different powders you can use to highlight contour you can use this one you can use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder you can use the Laura Mercier one you can even use black opal it's up to you whatever one you feel works best for you but for the purpose of this I'm gonna use the Sasha Buttercup this is like one of the most popular ones and the cheaper one now before I usually blend in my contour I like to go in and put the uh, setting powder on the concealer to give me like a few minutes of baking time even though I don't really like to bake. Just apply the powder basically to every place that you put concealer. And then with this powder, less is more. If you apply too much and you don't blend it all the way, you're gonna get flashback. I'm just gonna go straight line. I'm gonna blend in an upward position. So you wanna go like that. Upward, backwards, you take it upward, backwards. Because if the more you blend down here, you can drag it over here. And why do you want to contour all the way there? Why? I don't see the point in doing that. You can do that if you want to. I'm gonna just blend that back way in in the same way, just the dab, dab, dab. And take a clean, big powder brush and you just want to swirl. Basically, you're trying to blend in the powder and at the same time dust off any excess. And usually, you want to work with around your forehead fast too because sometimes the forehead <laughs> don't want to work with nobody. Don't want to work with nobody. Nobody knows the trouble I was in. And this is how you wanna go, you wanna go like this, in a circular motion when you're rubbing it off. Circular motion. And I chose to do this part so you guys can see how blending it works. Cause like, you can see how it's starting to look blended compared to here, you see that line. You don't want that line underneath there. So to get that line off, you gotta keep going in a circular motion and blending it in and trust me even though you look like that line would never go away it will go away and when i'm blending my nose contour i'm just gonna keep going in like taking it up for it to like the eyebrow area gotta make it look realistic and you can like blend it downwards a little bit so then like that streak of line to blend the line at the end I'm gonna go in my black opals finishing powder and I'm gonna use it to set the rest of my face. You wanna you wanna get a powder that's in your shade and set the rest of your face in. I'm just gonna take a little dab 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 dab. I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal uh, makeup extender setting spray. Ooh. And that is how you highlight and contour, my beautiful people. See you in my next video. Bye.